have no idea where some of these names come <laughs> from. The inception of this new entertainment show, Heavyweights International Comedy Show, is to promote African unity and a bid to fight against xenophobia in South Africa. This show will also be used to achieve greater unity and solidarity between the African countries. The International Comedy Festival will host an eclectic mix of both local and international comedians. We're joined by a promoter, Richard uh, Ramazuli, and Ugandan comedian, <laughs> can't see me and yeah when you say can't see me it's yeah it sounds it sounds a little bit better can't see me, Anne. talk to me about this idea richard of, of putting together something that really brings people together and so that they get the sense you know what we are actually all alike mm -hmm. just uh, at the right time you know we know a few weeks we had uh, this xenophobic attack happening in south mm. africa and it just happened so when we are having this international uh, heavyweights comedy where we're uniting africans where we're using comedy in order to unite all other africans people who mm. are here in south africa and also for the world to see that we are a unity i've got to ask you about this name <laughs> can't see me in <laughs> can see me is let me give thanks i'm a, okay. I'm a girl from uganda in yeah. east africa and I'm an, I'm an entertainer. Can see me has never been a difficult name. Usually, if it's hard for you to say, then just say can see me. Yeah. So if Anne can see me, then you've said my name. Can see me, Anne. The, the, the thing about the thing about humor is that, and I and I and I, I, I like what Richard is putting together. It really does transcend boundaries. That there mm -hmm. are so many similarities. Do you find that when you travel the African continent, when you are doing your stand-up comedy? Somehow, I, I even never used to think the things I was doing in Uganda would, would be relevant to anyone outside the borders. I am shocked <laughs> that Richard, who I'd never met, said, can you come? You only and met on the show. Like, yes, we, we, we only met now. I called, said, can you come? And I'm like, are you sure those people know who they are calling? Yeah. Are you sure? I, so if you tell me about humor is the one language everyone understands. Yeah. And if they try not to understand it, then you offend yourself. And when you're the joke, they will laugh. They'll how forget how about do you the then problems. describe your humor? What is the can see me humor? I just talk about the social stuff and just make it look so funny. Social events and make it look so funny. I'll talk about love, I'll talk about family planning, I'll talk about school, I'll talk about hotels, saloons, anything. Anything that people do on their day to day. I just pick it out and make it look so funny. Talk to me about the curatorship of finding the right comedians to mm -hmm. address kind of what you want to talk about. Because mm -hmm. you've got a comedian here from Uganda, and I, now that she's talking, I remember seeing her on YouTube. You yeah, see her on the I saw a lot of your videos on <laughs> when YouTube. When I'm quiet, I'm beautiful. Uh, when I open my mouth, they're something cool, else happens. And they're very funny, mm -hmm. your videos yes, on YouTube, yes. actually. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm saying, like, uh, how are you going to hate each other while laughing? Hence, we're using comedy. In this by instance. striking out while you're exactly, laughing, yeah. and then uh, in this instance for this comedy show, we've got yeah. Kansima who's big, by the way, like over 1.8 million. Yeah, no, no, not in yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on, on, on social media, and also we have uh, AY who's from Nigeria. I mean, yeah. he's got about yeah. 3.8 million, and then we have Tenji uh, from South Africa. Yeah. We have a guy called Dura from uh, Swaziland. So we're basically trying to. To, to, to touch all corners of Africa for now, and then it's not going to end here. We're taking it forward going on. So putting putting this this lineup together mm. and trying to kind of reach that objectives who, who's supposed to come to this comedy event who do you want to track through any with? any african so the comedy show is for africans it's for everybody who's in south africa who's an african it's not only for south african we're trying tonight so come in numbers and then let's show the world that the we details are tonight very quickly uh the event is at carnival city tonight and then the show is starting at eight o'clock tickets are from 200 at compi tickets we've got trevor gumbi supporting we've got tall more wow. we've got two missed up nonsense on the lineup so the lineup is jam-packed so you yeah, don't want to miss this one funniest yeah. people in the yeah. on the um your success on youtube <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know if... Oh, if, I like now that you're looking at me like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, I'm like, oh, I remember who you are. I've seen your videos, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your success on YouTube and, and the kind of humor that you bring and the fact that it transcends, it doesn't matter which country it's viewed, people find it interesting, funny. Were you surprised by your success? Oh, absolutely, because me, when I was doing the show, it was for that particular time. I, I started doing clips about five years ago, but for a, a, a show. Yeah. Called, yes, yeah. for a show. And I didn't think it would even go outside Uganda. But my first trip outside home was in London. I was in shock, even when I was on stage performing, I was in shock. So the love that I've received all over Africa and out is just too much. So are you a comedian or are you a YouTube comedian? I am a, an entertainer. Okay, you're an entertainer. Yes. Okay. So I crack jokes, I dance, I sing, but I'm a comedian too. Okay, so this is the first step of your, co of your heavyweight comedy jam. Where else does it go after Carnival City? Um, is there plans to take it any further? 
Uh, Jobek is the center and with all this xenophobic attack happening. So we keep it here, we do it next year again. We just get different people and add more lineup and then still do it in Unless Jobek. she's her hilarious. Unless funny, if she say we need to, to come to Uganda and then we go <laughs> to Uganda and do it there because it's still in Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you uh, on a personal note, what, are, what do Africans think of the, of the xenophobia happening in South Africa? I think the most important thing really is not what they are thinking about the xenophobia it's what they are hoping about the xenophobia hmm. their hope is really for it to be because we don't we don't understand how we can't just love each other hmm. we don't hmm. so it's it's hard for people who are not here it's hard for them to even be able to feel it and know what is going on from a distance they're like why can't they just love each other already hmm. you know hmm. so it's it's hard to think about it when you haven't even the best they can think is it should stop that's all those yes. are the thoughts guys thank you very much it is uh <laughs> i still struggle with your name yes you can't see me you can't just see can't me. see me. my friend what she's is a, going on she's here a, she's a youtube star <laughs> she's big in youtube mm. and then of course richard in here he's uh, uh the organizer of the heavyweight international comedy jam that's happening at carnival city at the big top arena it's tonight it's at eight o'clock take your family take your friends Get your enemies into one room and go and support this event. We're taking an outbreak there anyway.